So these are the two boards that I'm going to take over the joiner. You can see that there's a gap down below here. This is not a flat board. This is white oak that I'm using. I'm going to join both faces and, and our one face of both boards and an edge. I'm turn the vacuum on first. The push stick you choose because we have two push sticks here for the, for the, for the joiner. We want the push stick to be just a little bit shorter than what the length of the board is and both of these are going to work for that. We're going to do one edge. Check and make sure that it is exposing enough blade there. And we can go ahead and join the whole face. Remember what the purpose is, purposes of going to the joiner before we go to the planer. So if we have a gap down below there, our planer is going to push this board flat and take an even amount off the top, but it's not going to get, eliminate the warp that's on here. So we're trying to make it so that there's no cavity to be able to push down when we go over to the planer here. So I, I'm pretty darn close. I have a little bit left in the middle there. I'm going to go one more pass on this. So you still see there's a little bit of roughness here, but I'm not worried about that right now. I want to keep this as thick as possible because I'm going to need 7 8 out of this thickness later on. Now we'll go to the second board. Probably one more pass. Again, there's a little bit of roughness here. I'm not going to worry about that though, because it's not a cavity. It's not going to be able to push down. Now, now that I have the faces done, I'm going to elect an edge to go ahead and put over the joiner. If we look at this board here, this is the sap board, the outside of the of the tree, and you can see it very easily on the on the, on the rings here. The center of my tree was down in here somewhere, and as here we're getting to the outer circumference of the tree, over here more to the bark. I don't want the sap wood necessarily to be in my project. If I join this edge here, that is likely going to be my glue joint, so I'm going to go ahead and join the edge that has heartwood. The grain is pretty straight the whole way along that edge I'm doing, so there's no better option for which way to push it through. The board is wider than the height of my fence, so I can go ahead and push it through by hand. No push to. I got the whole edge and I went nice and slowly so I get a really nice cut on that so that I'd be able to use this as a glue joint if I need to. This board here has some weirdness on this side here. It actually looks like it sat outside for a while. It's, it's plenty, the integrity is good, but you can see that it's got a little bit of like spalting kind of starting with it. So I'm gonna use this side here as my good edge. And I'm gonna go going that way so my blades are turning this way because my grain comes off the board. So that's the joiner. Okay, we're right here next to the planer so we're going to keep going. So I want to go ahead and I want to plane these just to get them on the other side to be, to be, to be flat and parallel to the first face. And I want to maintain a thickness greater than 7 eighths of an inch. So right now, I'm going to measure how thick they are. It looks like my bottom one's thicker, so I'm going to use that as my, as my, as my measuring point. And I'm at about an inch and an eighth, okay? Top one, uh, about an inch. Okay, so I'm going to set this to my inch and eight. It's probably not going to cut anything. 
and I'm also going to wear some ear protection. table saw and I'm going to just make the other edge square too but we can see that right now these two edges here might be where my glue joint happens where those two edges meet okay the one thing we're looking for is we want to have a clean planed edge on here because we have to be able to keep these two boards even and if we don't have it on both sides there it's gonna be very difficult to do on the other side you can see that my planer never really got to this section here it's a little bit thinner than what, what I was doing as long as I have a reference point here, I'll be able to glue these two up, okay? So I don't want to go any more than that. Folks, that stage right there where we're keeping our board to a certain thickness to be able to get that afterwards, because I'm not done playing these boards. I'm going to glue them together, and then I'm going to come back with both my legs, not just the, not just the one leg here, with both my legs, and I'm going to I'll go ahead and play them down to 7 eighths. <laughs> the other thing to think about here is every board has to go through at this setting here, so that they all have the same thickness so when we glue them up it makes it real even, easy to see if they're even or not also we're not just doing one leg at a time so you unlike what i'm doing right here will not just be doing two boards you'll have four boards two for the one leg and two for the other leg and if you had to use three for each leg you'll have six boards all right uh all right very good i will see you guys in class <laughs> 